You know, growing up in the farming community, you really don't have many choices of what you can do in this area. But, you know, a little kid's love for an airplane is, is every kid's dream to fly one. I was lucky enough to have that dream come true. It's more to it, I guess, than what meets the eye, and, and having a good mentor is a, the biggest part of it. I guess I had it pretty easy. I had a lot of ag pilots right there around the area. My mentor was uh, Gary Michaels. I call him Racer. The way I was started working here was they had three airplanes and didn't have but two pilots and were needing a pilot, so they kind of shuffled me down here to help them out, and I never left. I am involved in uh, Arkansas Agriculture Aviation Association. I'm a board member there. I'm on the convention committee, golf committee, just about any kind of committees that we have there. I was in the leadership program for the NAAA. Uh, I'm an NAAA member, involved as much as I can be. Gives you a, a sense of involvement, a sense of being a part of the association, try to make things better. For someone young, wanting to start into business, don't act like you know everything. It's harder and harder for a young man to get started in, in this ball game anymore. There's a lot of schools out there that just take your money and promise you the world. The world's not out there for all of them that you, just because they get a license. You can go to school all you want to, but that don't mean you're going to take my spot. Make sure you listen to what people tell you because they, they know from experience whether you think they do or not. I was fortunate enough to start flying at a later age and had all my wild side kind of out of me because uh, you know, laying out all night and playing don't don't mix with what we do. And if your head's not in the ball game, it, it's it's probably not going to end well for you. The most difficult part of this job, I think, is sometimes the way they plant crops here, uh, the kind of pressure that they put on you trying to make an application that that's not safe or that you know that you're not going to get away with, but they're pushing you to do it anyway. What they don't understand is that this is your your job, your livelihood. That'd be like them just going out there and killing their crop on their own and not getting anything out of it. If you lose your license, you know, you're, you're done. That's the hardest part for, for me. It's a lot of things going on, you know, in the cockpit, uh, in your surroundings. It can be very overwhelming. You know, you're running 160 miles an hour across the field, and if you're not into it, you don't need to be there. You look back and, and see the ones that you've lost that you started with or anything else, you know, it makes you wonder if you still want to do it. It's like anybody's job. Everybody gets tired of doing the same old thing every day. But it's always that, that start, the spring of every year, you know, the airplane's flying good, you hadn't been in it in a while, you know. It can get old, but you, if you didn't love it, I don't believe you would do it anyway. You know, if it was an eight to five job, yeah, it'd be great, but it's not. Whether the community knows it or not, you know, our role plays a big part in what they do and what they have around them, you know. Uh, the people farm, if it's not for us, you know, they don't get their crops sprayed. They don't, they don't get the services that they need. You have to defend yourself a lot. Uh, just because you go out there and you blow some smoke to try to tell which way the wind's blowing, it goes across the car at the time. They think you've done something wrong to them. You know, they think you sprayed them. There's so many people out there that don't even realize what we do for a living or what it consists of. It's an effect for everybody, you know. It, it, everybody's dependent on everyone, regardless whether they feel that way or not. You're only gonna get out of it what you put into it. You gotta be passionate about what you do, so make the best of what you got.